What is up, Texas Longhorns fans? Hook em. It's your old friend, Indy Car Tim, here for your Texas Longhorns Daily Blitz. It is SEC debut week. It is Mississippi State week for the first time ever an SEC conference game at DKR. And it's Mississippi State. And it probably couldn't have come against an easier opponent for the Horns, right? Uh, The poor Bulldogs not doing well this year. Longhorns, they take that number one, by the way, ranking into DKR as they host the Bulldogs. Uh, It's time. It's finally time. A year sooner than a lot of us thought it was going to be, but it's here. It's time. Three years after announcing its move from the Big 12 to the SEC, the number one Longhorns opened their first league schedule game Saturday at home against Mississippi State. Sark was just about to start his first season as Texas head coach when the deal was made and the move was announced, even though it was still several years away, at least we thought. The original plan had Texas and Oklahoma joining the SEC in 2025, but their entry into the new conference got bumped up a year through an agreement that they'd reached with the Big 12 and the SEC. Oklahoma's debut last week didn't go so well if you're a boomer sooner. Gross. Those were, I just vomited when that came out of my mouth a little bit. Uh, 25 to 15 loss to number five, Tennessee. A trip into SEC territory the second week of the 2021 season wasn't very good for the Longhorns. They were dismantled by old Southwest Conference and then future Southeast Conference rival, Arkansas. The Longhorns finished 2021 with a five and seven record, raising doubts that they were ready for the SEC or they were going to be ready for the SEC or they would ever be SEC ready. But it's here. They're the number one team in the country. The Longhorns answered that question in 2023, though, when they beat Alabama in Tuscaloosa. They won the Big 12 championship and made the college football playoff for the first time ever. Texas started this year ranked number three. They killed defending national champion Michigan on the road in week two. They then leapfrogged undefeated Georgia for the number one ranking. It didn't matter who was playing quarterback. Quinn Ewers, he's injured. Arch Manning steps in. Boom, number one ranking. It could have been either guy, I obviously. It's the team, not the quarterback. Uh, so, SEC, very nice to meet you. And here we go. Mississippi State, though, is walking through uh, what's going to be probably a pretty tough welcoming party uh, in Austin. The Bulldogs have lost three in a row. They faced the Longhorns with freshman Michael Van Buren starting at quarterback after Blake Shapin was lost for the season with a shoulder injury. And I don't know that things would have been any better for Mississippi State if Shapin was still playing. Uh, First-year Bulldogs coach Jeff Levy summed up the situation as a big chance for the Bulldogs to shock the country. He said, quote, Texas is a football team playing as good as anybody in the country. What an unbelievable opportunity for us to see how we're going to respond, end quote. Well, we'll find out, won't we? Saturday, 3.15 p.m. Central Time on the SEC Network. The Longhorns don't even get national television. Uh, exposure for their first SEC game because it could get ugly. Ewers or Manning? Who's it going to be? It doesn't matter. Uh, Ewers returned to practice after missing a game and a half with an abdominal strain. Sark called him questionable to play depending on how he progressed this week. Of course, Manning won his first career start last week. He's passed for eight touchdowns and run for two more. Sark has already said once Ewers is healthy, he's the guy. So when is he going to be healthy? Is it this week against Mississippi State? I don't know. We haven't, he hasn't said yet. We, we don't know yet, but what a time for Van Buren to make his first college start uh, for the Bulldogs on the road at DKR against the number one team of the country in front of a hundred thousand plus screaming fans. So it's going to be rough. The Longhorns defense, they're really good. Uh, 
it doesn't matter who they play. It doesn't matter where they're ranked. Texas has allowed just two touchdowns and 22 total points this season. Number one in scoring defense, number five in total defense, seven interceptions. That's tops in the SEC. Texas will certainly test Mississippi State's 48-game scoring streak. I didn't know that was a thing, but I guess that's the last time it's been 49 games since they got shut out is what what the record books are telling us. So uh, look for another potential shutout on Saturday, though. Look for that streak to, to possibly end. And things could get ugly. The run game is clicking for the Longhorns right now. Jaden Blue returned from an ankle injury to rush for 124 yards and four touchdowns last week against Louisiana Monroe. He faces a Mississippi State defense that's given up 262 yards to Cam Scadaboo in week two. And Scadaboo's pretty good uh, in Arizona State. The Bulldogs found some success on the ground. They rushed for 240 yards last week in their loss to Florida. Florida is not the Longhorns. Florida is a terrible team. They have a terrible defense. They have a terrible offense. Things could get ugly, boys and girls, for the long or for the uh, Bulldogs as they enter Longhorn country in Austin at DKR. <sighs> Boy, howdy. Welcome to the SEC, Texas. Uh, we'll do some more Mississippi State, Texas stuff for you this week before Saturday here on FanStream Sports, fanstreamsports.com. Make sure you download the FanStream Sports mobile app. Available for iOS and Android. It's free. Get all of the great fan stream sports programming, including your Longhorns Daily Blitz podcast with me, Indy Cartem. Find me on social media at Indy Cartem, Threads, and The X. And until next time, boys and girls, hook them horns, and we'll see you.